a 250 milliliter IV bag is filled with 2.3% of medication. So we see that this is a concentration problem. The medication has a concentration of 0 0.95 grams per milliliter. So that's also important here. How much medication in mass, so we want to find out how much mass, would the patient receive if he was given 30 milliliters? Okay. And we want to keep this answer to the thousandth. So let me first write down all of these givens here. So given, and we have, so we have the first given, so it's a 2.3%, okay, so 250 milliliter IV bag, okay, of medication. We know that the concentration of the medication per each milliliter, so this is 0 0.95 grams per milliliter, and you can watch the video on concentrations if you're not familiar with these, okay, which is on the channel. So that's what we have. It's the second item. And then the last item is how much medication, okay, would the patient receive if he was given 30 milliliters? Okay, so they're going to get 30 milliliters in total. So there's a lot happening here. So I just want to draw this out for you. So if you have a, an IV bag, okay, so let's say, you know, here's the, here's the pole of the IV bag, okay, and so I'll do my best here in terms of drawing it. Okay, let's say it's, a, it's the pole and here's the IV. So that's going to the patient and then the IV is, let's say, hanging over here. So what it is saying is that we have Okay, so this IV bag inside, so let's say there's maybe 250 milliliters, and it has a concentration of 2.3%. Okay, so that's what we have. So what we know is that, so if I convert this to decimal, okay, again, remember we divide by 100, okay, to convert to decimal, and we have to convert to decimal if we want to do any multiplication of concentrations. Okay, so we have that, 250 milliliters. So what this is saying is that, okay, so what we have is 0 0.023, which is equal multiplied by 250. That that particular IV bag, okay? So this is what we have. So inside of this IV bag, most of it is pretty much just water, okay? But 5.75 milliliters is some of that medication, okay? And they are telling us that 30 milliliters, okay, of these 250 milliliters have been given to a patient. And we have to find out how much actually mass of medication they received. Okay, so let's try this. So we're going to be solving. So let M be the mass okay, of medication. I'll just write meds. And so now I'm going to solve this out. So M equals. So this is a proportion problem for us. Okay. And so we start within proportions, always with the given that has just a, a single unit. So we have 30 milliliters, okay, that is given to this patient. Okay, so that's the first item. And now we're going to be multiplying this. So how much of the 
30 milliliters is actually the medication itself. Well, we know that in a 250 milliliter IV bag, 5.75 milliliters is medication. Okay, but we do not have 250. We only have 30 milliliters. But we do know the concentration is 2.3. So if I multiply this by the concentration, so that is going to tell me how much medication I have for every 30 milliliters. Because I'm not using the 250 milliliters in total. I am only using 30 milliliters. But notice, when I multiply these, my unit is milliliter. But I don't want to have milliliters because I'm looking for the amount of mass. And that actually comes, okay, so I've used 30 milliliters, I've used the 2.3%, okay, that is actually coming from this. So I can multiply this now, okay, and I can cancel the milliliter, which is on top, so that can go at the bottom, and 0 0.95 grams, okay, can go on top, so this is per one, okay, and that is coming from right here. And now notice that the milliliter here and milliliter here will cancel. So my mass in total is equal to, so I can say 30 times 0 0.023. Again, the reason for that is because that's the concentration and then we multiply by 0 0.95 equals, and then we can divide by 1, which is still going to give us that answer. So this becomes 0 0.6555 grams, but we're supposed to round this answer to the thousandth. Okay, so tenth, hundredth, thousandth. So this is 0 0.656 grams of the meds that they were supposed to receive. So please take a look at this closely. The first step is I want to know within how much the patient was given, so within the 30 milliliters, okay, how much of that 30 milliliters is actually medication, okay, and that was given by using this right here. That tells me how much medication within that 30 milliliters. But that is in milliliters. And then what I did was I used the actual unit concentration per each milliliter to tell me how much mass they actually took in. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful.